what's going on everybody thank you guys once again for coming back to my video my channel my station whatever I appreciate all your guys support uh, over the last months uh, it's been phenomenal uh, I can't thank you guys enough uh, but anyway <clears throat> of course we have another product review tonight uh, product review tonight is going to be uh, from a company from Alabama called Barn Brand Beards. That's a tongue twister. Barn Brand Beards. Stay tuned. Welcome back, everybody. Uh, thank you guys for joining me again. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video. Uh, throw me a couple comments down in the comment section below uh, what you guys would like to see in the future uh, tonight's review is going to be uh, a company from Alabama uh, it's a tongue twister barn brand beards uh, and this company is all natural all organic vegan hygienic they hand make all their uh, products uh, small batch for quality uh, control of course uh, something a little bit different about this company also uh, they sell products from different companies as well, so that's that's kind of unique. Uh, and what they have sent me, uh, they call it the reviewer pack. Uh, I got two um, homemade soaps, uh, a wash, a co-wash, uh, oil, a stash wax, uh, and these are pretty good products, I must say. Uh, I've used every single one of them. Actually, one is about gone. I'll go over uh, these. This I'll go over this stuff first. Uh, sent me a card. It's kind of bright. Um, it says Beardtastic Barn Brand. Uh, it says thank you on it. Welcome to Barn Brand. Ah, that's a tongue twister. Um, <clears throat> It says, thanks, Patrick. I hope you enjoy these as much as I did making them. Tex, barn brand. Um, and I'm assuming that's the owner. They call him Tex. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> these products I thoroughly enjoyed. Uh, they worked on my skin. They made my skin feel really well, my beard. Um, he sent me a new oil that he's been working on. It's called Loco Barbaristo. Barbarista, sorry, and it's his take on the barbershop scent with the with a kick to it. His cologne, it's his cologne take on the barbershop scent. Uh, it's it's phenomenal. It's, it's got two nice kicks at the end of it, uh, the back end of the oil, scent wise, and it's it's it really smells good. Um, we'll go over that in a minute, of course. Uh, as always, I'm gonna read uh, a little bit about them. To get that out of the way, <clears throat> uh, after working as a products tester for hyg hygiene for over five years, we've been the guinea pig for over a thousand brands. We've built personal relationships with the best in the biz, and through their relationships and multiple years of helping other brands perfect their products, we decided to add the three most important tools that create a successful, affordable, and quality brand. And so, Barn Brand was born. We offer organic hygiene at awesome prices we don't make you pay for fancy labels and bottling we simply give you the highest quality natural hygiene available in the most affordable units available made in the u.s so leave those fancy products created to look pretty alone and get over to the barn the brand created for mankind uh and like it says uh it's not real fancy packaging uh, and you know, I like personally, I like uh, a fancy looking bottle label, but it's not important. What's important is what's inside the bottles and if they work. Uh, <clears throat> we'll start from, uh, of course, the smallest to the largest product that they sent. Uh, first product is uh, <clears throat> their barn brand stash wax. Uh, ingredients are beeswax, coconut oil, shea nut oil, jojoba and essential oils and TT and essential oils I don't know what that means I'm sure it means something uh, and uh, like before I don't really use uh, mustache wax I will use them 
I've used this one a few times. This one has a real musculant, uh, leathery type scent to it. And it smells really good. And it uh, it just it does what it's supposed to. It's a mustache wax. It um, holds my mustache in place. I don't have a very big mustache, so don't make fun of me either. I know where you live. I'll come get you. Damn! Anyway, uh, the next product, uh, soaps. And he sent me two uh, homemade soaps, which are phenomenal. Uh, I've had some sent to me before. They were mediocre, you know. They they worked fine, but uh, his soaps, phenomenal soaps. They lather up nicely. The scent profile of this one, uh, homemade. It's really cool. He sells them in blocks. And this one is a strawberry lemonade, honey hemp, 100% organic. Uh, cleanses your body it doesn't uh <clears throat> like a like a generic soap when you use the soap you wash off and it leaves your leaves your skin real like um real dry i know that don't make sense but uh you know how you sit there if you have soap on your skin and it's real smooth uh if you take a generic soap <clears throat> and wash and it's kind of skittish if that makes sense i hope it does he sent me that one uh <clears throat> and a mint tobacco and leather one, which that's the one um, almost it's that's almost gone, and it just smells amazing. Uh, great, great, great soaps. Um, <clears throat> actually, we'll go over his oil last because it's it hasn't been released yet. So uh, he sent me a cantaloupe lime beard wash, and. What it smells like is exactly what it's called. It's uh, a cantaloupe lime. <clears throat> uh, it's not very thick, but you don't need a lot. You'll you'll understand here in a minute. I've had this for a little over a week and a half, and I've only used that much. Of course, I don't wash my beard every every day. I uh, just it probably less than a teaspoon full of this, and it lathers up really really nice. Uh, pulls out. Uh, you know, the oils off your beard does what it's supposed to. Uh, and it <clears throat> smells good. <laughs> Usually I'm not uh, that kind of scent profile guy, but it, I mean, it smells good. It smells like a cantaloupe with a little bit of touch of lime. Um, <clears throat> the co wash, no, that's a different story. This uh, scent profile is a musculine wine. And if you've ever smelled uh, a fine wine, there's a bug that just flew past there. If you ever smelled a fine wine, that's what it smells like. And I've used a ton of this stuff. And I don't use it every day, I use it every other day. <clears throat> like I said, I've had it for, I think, a little over a week. And I'm down to, you know, that much. And it's, the consistency's uh, real thick. I'm not going to get any out because I'm not going to waste none. And yeah, it's, it smells like a real... It's like a real fine wine type smell. And it smells really good. Really, really good. Uh, and they both, like I said, they do their job well. <laughs> um, <clears throat> and last but not least, uh, his Loco Barbarista, uh, his barbershop take, uh, his take on barbershop, rather. Uh, and it's a cologne type uh, scent. Uh, what's the ingredients in here? Uh, Hobo oil, castor oil, uh, shea nut, pomegranate, avocado oil, uh, and the other, the, they got cut off actually. Uh, what happened was, I think he said he they ordered the wrong label, or I'm sorry, the wrong bottles, because I, I think he said they look the same, and he's got one ounce labels on 0.5 ounce bottles and that's why it looks so weird uh, <clears throat> but the I'm not gonna name all the uh, scent profiles in this I don't I don't know if he would like that too much but like I said it's his take on the barbershop with a kick though it's like a cologne type barbershop uh, the scent profile is a cedar lavender musk grapefruit grapefruit in neroli 
and a touch of two other uh, two other profiles uh, <clears throat> and it smells good it smells damn good and consistency is a medium consist consistency I can't talk Ugh. and it's got a shade of green tint and <clears throat> you get the fur the last two scents right off the uh, right off the bottle open you can get some of the lavender and the mu lavender and the musk too and the cedar and the, the rolly and the grapefruit they they like uh, sneak up on you so to speak but it, it's definitely it's a strong strong uh, scent profile but if you don't use a full dripper dropper <laughs> dripper if you don't use a full dropper it's not going to be that strong Simply because of the fact is, like I said, he this was a mix for one ounce bottles, and these are 0.5 bottles. Uh, but it, uh, it it settles down throughout the day, and this lasts me a whole shift, 10 hours. And it's another one of those oils <clears throat> that I wake up the next morning, take a shower, uh, wash out my beard, and I can still smell the scent of this. It's, it's just really, really good. It's his take. On a barber shop with a kick. I know I keep saying that, but I just want to make sure I get that out there. Uh, and this hasn't been released yet. And it's his. He calls it Loco Barbarista. Out of all these products, uh, everything I like. There's I don't have a favorite because they all work and they all smell good. Scent scale, a ten on all of them because they all smell great. Presentation, uh, like I stated in the beginning, they're not worried about what they look like. They just, it matters what's inside. So I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna touch on that because it's, it, they're not trying to be all fancy. They're just making good products, homemade products, handmade products. Uh, that's that's what their goal is. Not what's not something that looks pretty, pretty much. Well, I will leave all of uh, Barn Brand's information down in the description box below. Uh, check them out. They're, uh, <clears throat> I think, yeah, for uh, eight ounce wash or co-wash, it's it's eight dollars. Uh, I'm pretty sure that says eight dollars. I hope it says eight dollars. I don't want to get it wrong, but uh, you know, two eight ounce for eight dollars a piece. You can't beat that. That's just it. It works. Does what it does. And it's just great products. Uh, thank you, Tex, for sending me all your products. I appreciate it. Um, hope to do some more in the future. Before before I go, uh, like I said, they deal with um, other companies too. They sell other companies' products too. And I'm just looking them up real quick. Um, the other affiliates are Artius Man, uh, Roddy Man, uh, Brew Craft Beer, Ham and Hair and Bod, Ham and Bod. Uh, WB Beer Company, Cavemen Grooming, Oak City, uh, and I think it says Barden. Barden, never heard of that. Um, <clears throat> they deal with them products too, so they, they sell multiple items. Uh, with them, their brand, themselves. Uh, like I said, it's all natural and they're organic uh, products, vegan, hygienic, great products. Uh, two thumbs up for me. <clears throat> Uh, thank you guys for sticking around for another uh, product review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, go ahead and check them out. Good prices, good products. Uh, until the next video, guys. Peace.